Hey everybody, I'm Kleina, and today we're going to be Kleina Alone. So welcome to the first installment of Kleina Alone. Um, and as you can see from the screen before me, we are going to be playing The Sims 2 for my very first Kleina Alone. Um, I'm probably going to be making this into a Let's Play series. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a Sim and we're going to follow um, The Sims throughout college. You can tell right now I'm at Academy Lee Tour, one of the college uh, campuses here in Sims 2, and we'll just follow the Sims throughout their life and um, see where life takes them after college. So um, just to give you a little bit of uh, background uh, of me as a gamer, I know you've seen a lot of goosh it out, but you haven't seen any Klein alone. Um, so uh, I have been a gamer for as long as I can remember. My brother is the one who first introduced me to it, and it was all like uh, Super Nintendo things, so Mario, Zelda, all of that. Um, my favorite console game would have to be Zelda for sure, but as for PC games, uh, it is definitely The Sims, any of The Sims. So I started playing The Sims 1 back in elementary school and I followed it all the way up to now. Um, I do not currently have The Sims 4, I do have The Sims 3, The Sims 2 installed on this computer. Um, but the reason I chose The Sims 2 is just because I had Origin, um, well I still have Origin, but I used the sale that they had. Um, and I basically got all the expansion packs and all the stuff packs of The Sims 2 for free by entering that code. Um, so if you don't know about that code, I'll put um, I'll put it in the description bar. I'm not sure if it still works or not, but that's how I got it. So I have literally every single expansion pack of The Sims 2. And, you know, with The Sims 4 coming out recently, I thought it'd be fun to kind of have a little throwback back to The Sims 2. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create our student. I thought it would be a good idea to... Um, have a student so that we could see uh, the university aspects of The Sims 2 um, and then we can move into more of the aspects as the student you know grows up. Um, this person will of course have kids, they'll do all of that fun stuff, but I thought it'd be a good starting point to start them in university. Um, so a little differences about The Sims 3 to The Sims 2. Uh, not every Sim is a young adult in The Sims 2. You can only create students and they'll be young adults. So like in a normal uh, neighborhood, you would only have adults, not young adults. Um, so that's a little bit different. So we're at the Create a Sim screen now. So I'm just going to create our Sim and I'm going to speed it up for you guys so you don't watch me make every single decision slowly. And I will see you uh, back when I'm done.
right. So here is our Sim. Her name is Brooke Richardson. I think she is adorable. Um, it's currently spring, so she's in a very cute spring romper. Uh, she has a cute little, well, come here, look at us. She has a cute little eyebrow piercing. I love her hair. I just think she's adorable. Um, her aspiration is the knowledge aspiration. And I, basically, she's super neat and she's super nice. She's pretty outgoing. She's pretty active, but she's pretty serious, too. So I wanted it to be like something where... Um, she gets along well and she makes friends and everything, but at the same time, she's really serious because she's a knowledge, uh, sim. Her turn-ons are kind of like my turn-ons, honestly. Logical and creative are her two turn-ons, and her turn-off is zombieism because, I don't know, do most people find zombies attractive? Because I sure don't. Um, anyway, that is our sim, so that is who we're going to be playing with.